x86 paging tutorial with simple examples and applications extracted and expanded from my stack overflow answer sample code in manual application hardware implementation paging versus segmentation example simplified single level paging scheme page tables page table entries address translation and single level scheme page fault simplifications example multi level paging scheme address translation and multi level scheme 64 bit architectures Pay PSE Pay and PSE Page Table Schemes TLD Basic Operation Replacement Policy CAM Invalidating Entries Read Only Flag Copy on Write Linux Kernel Usage Kernel Versus Process Memory Layout Process Memory Layout Source Tree Memory Management Unit Second Level Address Translation Other Architectures ARM Bibliography Sample code Minimal example https slash slash github dot com web link Flash number sign paging expected output 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 000012340000567 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, verbose beginners tutorial www.erosanti.com web link keep the following intel shorthands in mind PDE page table PDE page directory PD PDE page directory number sign number sign CR3 the CR3 register does have a format it is not simply the address of the page directory. 20 top bits for kid address. Since those are the only address bits, this implies that the page directory must be aligned to 4 kid. Bits 3 and 40 audio some function I don't understand yet. All others ignored many tutorials simply ignore bits 3 and 4. And do a direct address and OV to CR3. Number sign include common dot h begin clear stage to protected mode setup paging for m flash setup a test canary value slash and ov dollars zero x one thousand two hundred thirty four percent x and ov percent x zero x one thousand flash print the canary to make sure it is really there flash vga print hex for zero x one thousand flash make page zero point two four kid slash and ov page table Percent X for dollars zero X zero 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 one zero 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 percent X and OV percent X page table paging on flash. This is what we've been working for. Even though we end OV to zero, the paging circuit reads that is physical address zero X one thousand. So the canary value 0x 1234 should be modified to 0x 5678 slash and OV dollars 0x 5678 percent x and OV percent x 0 flash turn paging back off to prevent it from messing with us. Remember that VGA dish memory accesses, so if paging is still on, we must identity map up to it, which we have, so this is not mandatory. Flash paging off. Flash print the hopefully modified value 0x 5678. Flash VGA print hex for 0x 1000 JMP. Like everything else in programming, 
The only way to really understand this is to play with minimal examples. What makes this a hard subject is that the minimal example is large because you need to make your own small OS. Intel manual Although it is impossible to understand without examples in mind, try to get familiar with the manuals as soon as possible. Intel describes paging in the Intel Manuel Volume 3 System Programming Guide, 325384056 of September 2015 Chapter 4 Paging. Specially interesting is Figure 4 to 4 formats of CR3 and paging structure entries with 32-bit paging, which gives the key data structures application paging makes it easier to compile and run two programs at the same time on a single computer for example when you compile two programs the compiler does not know if they are going to be running at the same time or not so nothing prevents it from using the same RAM address Say, 0x1234, to store the global variable. But if two programs use the same address and run at the same time, this is obviously going to break them. Paging solves this problem beautifully by adding one degree of indirection. Logical Physical Paging Compilers don't need to worry about other programs they just use simple logical addresses. As far as programs are concerned, they think they can use any address between 0 and 4GB232 on 32-bit systems. Paging is then set up by the OS so the identical logical addresses will go into different physical addresses. This makes it much simpler to compile programs and run them at the same time. Paging achieves that goal, and in addition the switch between programs is very fast, because it is implemented by hardware the memory of both programs can grow and shrink as needed without too much fragmentation one program can't never access the memory of another program, even if it wanted to. This is good both for security, and to prevent bugs in one program from crashing other programs, Hardware Implementation Paging is implemented by the CPU itself. Paging could be implemented in software, but that would be too slow, because every single RAM memory access uses it. The operating system must tell the CPU how paging is to be done. This is done by writing bytes to specific RAM addresses, not through registers directly. In x86, the RAM location is given by the CR3 register. Using RAM is a common technique when lots of data must be transmitted to the CPU as it would cost too much to have such a large CPU register. The format of the configuration data structures is fixed by the hardware, but it is up to the OS to set up and manage those data structures on RAM correctly, and to tell the hardware where to find them via CR3. Another notable example of RAM data structure used by the CPU is the IDD which sets up interrupt handlers. Paging versus segmentation In x86 systems, there may actually be two address translation steps first segmentation then paging. As such, logical, linear, Physical Segmentation Paging Logical addresses are the memory addresses used in regular user land code, e.g. the contents of RSI in MOVX, RSI. We can think of physical addresses as indexing actual RAM hardware memory cells. But this is not 100% true because of memory mapped I slash L regions multi-channel memory.
The major difference between paging and segmentation is that paging splits RAM into equal sized chunks called pages segmentation splits memory into chunks of arbitrary sizes. This is the main advantage of paging. Since equal sized chunks make things more manageable by reducing memory fragmentation problems. Paging came after segmentation historically and largely replaced it for the implementation of virtual memory in modern OSS. Paging has become so much more popular that support for segmentation was dropped in x86-64 in 64-bit mode, the main mode of operation for new software, where it only exists in compatibility mode, which emulates IA32. Example Simplified Single Level Paging Scheme This is an example of how paging operates on a simplified version of a x86 architecture to implement a virtual memory space. Page Tables The OS could give them the following page tables page table given to process 1 by the OS. Ramp location. Physical address. Present. Page table given to process 2 by the OS. Ramp location. Physical address. Present. Where? Platinum 1 and Platinum 2 initial position of table 1 and 2 on ramp. Sample values 0x0000000000 0x12345678, etc. It is the OS that decides those values. L length of a page table entry. Present indicates that the page is present in memory. Page tables are located on ramp. They could for example be located as Page table 1 Page table 2 The initial locations on RAM for both page tables are arbitrary and controlled by the OS. It is up to the OS to ensure that they don't overlap. Each process cannot touch any page tables directly, although it can make requests to the OS that cause the page tables to be modified, for example asking for larger stack or heap segments. A page is a chunk of 4 kilobytes 12 bits. And since addresses have 32 bits, only 20 bits 20 plus 12 equals 32, thus 5 characters in hexadecimal notation are required to identify each page. This value is fixed by the hardware. Page Table Entries A page table is a table of page table entries. The exact format of table entries is fixed by the hardware. On this simplified example, the page table entries contain only two fields. Bits. Function. 20 physical address of the start of the page. One present flag. So in this example the hardware designers could have chosen L equals 21. 
most real page table entries have other fields, notably fields to set pages to read only for copy on write. This will be explained elsewhere. It would be impractical to align things at 21 bytes since memory is addressable by bytes and not bits. Therefore, even in only 21 bits are needed in this case, hardware designers would probably choose L equals 32 to make access faster, and just reserve bits the remaining bits for later usage. The actual value for L on x86 is 32 bits. Address translation and single level scheme. Once the page tables have been set up by the OS, the address translation between linear and physical addresses is done by the hardware. When the OS wants to activate process 1, it sets the CR3 to platinum 1, the start of the table for process 1. If process 1 wants to access linear address 0x0000000001, the paging hardware circuit automatically does the following for the OS split the linear address into two parts. Page 20 bits Offset 12 bits So in this case we would have page equals 0x0000000 offset equals 0x001. Look into page table 1 because CR3 points to it. Look entry 0x0000 because that is the page part. The hardware knows that this entry is located at RAM address platinum 1 plus 0 L equals platinum 1. Since it is present, the access is valid. By the page table, the location of page number 0x0000 is at 0x0000001 for K equals 0x0000100. To find the final physical address we just need to add the offset. Because 00001 is the physical address of the page looked up on the table and 001 is the offset. As the name indicates, the offset is always simply added the physical address of the page. The hardware then gets a memory at that physical location. In the same way. The following translations would happen for process 1.
For example, when accessing address 00001000, the page part is 00001. The hardware knows that its page table entry is located at RAM address Platinum 1 plus 1 L1 because of the page part, and that is where it will look for it. When the OS wants to switch to process 2, all it needs to do is to make CR 3.2 page 2. It is that simple. Now the following translations would happen for process 2. The same linear address can translate to different physical addresses for different processes, depending only on the value inside CR3. In this way, every program can expect its data to start at zero and end at FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
The problem with a single level paging scheme is that it would take up too much RAM for G slash 4K equals 1M entries per process. If each entry is 4 bytes long, that would make 4M per process, which is too much even for a desktop computer. PSAWCL says that I am running 244 processes right now, so that would take around 1 GB of my RAM. For this reason, x86 developers decided to use a multi-level scheme that reduces RAM usage. The downside of this system is that it has a slightly higher access time. In the simple three-level paging scheme used for 32-bit processors without pay, the 32 address bits are divided as follows. Directory 10 bits. Table 10 bits. Offset 12 bits. Each process must have one and only one page directory associated to it, so it will contain at least two 10 equals 1k page directory entries, much better than a minimum 1m required on a single level scheme. Page tables are only allocated as needed by the OS. Each page table has two 10 equals 1k page directory entries. Page directories contain page directory entries. Page directory entries are the same as page table entries except that they point to the physical addresses of page tables instead of physical addresses of pages. Since those addresses are only 20 bits wide, page tables aligned to 4 kilobytes the lower bits are zeroed out. CR3 now points to the location on RAM of the page directory of the current process instead of page tables. Page tables entries don't change at all from a single level scheme. Page tables change from a single level scheme because each process may have up to 1k page tables, one per page directory entry. Each page table contains exactly 1k entries instead of 1m entries. The reason for using 10 bits on the first two levels and not, say, 12a12 is that each page table entry is 4 bytes long. Then the two 10 entries of page directories and page tables will fit nicely into 4 kilobytes pages. This means that it's faster and simpler to allocate and deallocate pages for that purpose. Address translation and multi-level scheme. Page directory given to process 1 by the OS. Ramp location. Physical address. Present. Page tables given to process 1 by the OS at Platinum 1 equals 0x 10 million 0x 10,000 4K. Page tables given to process 1 by the OS at Platinum 2 equals 0x80 million 0x80,000 4K. Where PD1 initial position of page directory of process 1 on ramp. Platinum 1 and Platinum 2 initial position of page table 1 and page table 2 for process 1 on ramp. So in this example the page directory and the page table could be stored in RAM something like Page table 1 Page directory 1 Page table 2 Let's translate the linear address 0x0080100 for step by step. We suppose that CR3 equals PD1, that is, it points to the page directory just described.
What if we build and store paging structures from the end to the start of RAM, in an inverted way? It could probably give us some chance to allocate them more freely. In binary the linear address is Grouping as 10 10 12 gives Which gives page directory entry equals 0x to page table entry equals 0x1 offset equals 0x4 So the hardware looks for entry to of the page directory. The page directory table says that the page table is located at 0x80,000, 4k equals 0x80 million. This is the first RAM access of the process. Since the page table entry is 0x1, the hardware looks at entry 1 of the page table at 0x80 million, which tells it that the physical page is located at address 0x0000C4K equals 0x0000C000. This is the second RAM access of the process. Finally, the paging hardware adds the offset, and the final address is 0x0000C004. Other examples of translated addresses are Linear 10-10-12 split Physical What I mean is having paging structures at the very end of free RAM, and actual pages from the very start of it, so that we avoid fragmentation by having them at the opposite limits of available RAM. Then any corner cases to prevent or being able to handle fragmentation would turn out much easier to implement and handle. Page faults occur if either a page directory entry or a page table entry is not present. If the OS wants to run another process concurrently, it would give the second process a separate page directory, and link that directory to separate page tables.
or design a paging structure area in RAM and then the free RAM page area, just like in a file system, so that we can reserve a static amount of pages and process structures at runtime, and once designed at development time, and reserved at boot time, virtual memory will be really easy to use. First we would have the paging structures like cluster entries at the start of a static initial address, and then the actual clusters, or free space, right after it, like a formatted FAT file system. as if we formate the whole RAM with some sort of FAT file system. Sixty four bit architectures. Sixty four bits is still too much address for current RAM sizes, so most architectures will use slash bits. X86 64 uses 48 bits 256 tick, and legacy modes pay already allows 52 bit addresses for PID. 56 bits is a likely future candidate. Twelve of those 48 bits are already reserved for the offset, which leaves 36 bits. If a two-level approach is taken, the best split would be to 18-bit levels. But that would mean that the page directory would have to 18 equals 256k entries which would take too much RAM close to a single level paging for 32-bit architectures. Therefore, 64-bit architectures create even further page levels, commonly 3 or 4. x86-64 uses for levels in a 999-12 scheme, so that the upper level only takes up only to 9 higher level entries. The 48 bits are split equally into two disjoint parts. Top half Not addressable. Bottom half. Pay. Physical address extension. With 32 bits. Only for GB RAM can be addressed. This started becoming a limitation for large servers, so Intel introduced the pay mechanism to Pentium Pro. To relieve the problem, Intel added for new address lines, so that 64 GB could be addressed. Page table structure is also altered if pay is on. The exact way in which it is altered depends on whether PSC is on or off. Pay is turned on and off via the pay bit of CR4. Even if the total addressable memory is 64 GB, individual processors are still only able to use up to 4 GB. The OS can however put different processes on different 4 GB chunks. PSC Page Size Extension Allows 4 pages to be 4M or 2M if pay is on in length instead of 4K. PSE is turned on and off via the pay bit of CR4. Pay and PSE page table schemes.
if either pay and PSC are active. Different paging level schemes are used no pay and no PSC 10 10 12 no pay and PSC 10 22. 22 is the offset within the 4 megabytes page. Since 22 bits address for megabytes pay and no PSC to 9 9 12. The design reason why 9 is used twice instead of 10 is that now entries cannot fit anymore into 32 bits, which were all filled up by 20 address bits and 12 meaningful or reserved flag bits. The reason is that 20 bits are not enough anymore to represent the address of page tables. 24 bits are now needed because of the 4 extra wires added to the processor. Therefore, the designers decided to increase entry size to 64 bits and to make them fit into a single page table is it is necessary to reduce the number of entries to 2 9 instead of to 10. The starting to is a new page level called page directory pointer table PDPT, since it points to page directories and fill in the 32-bit linear address. PDPDs are also 64 bits wide. CR3 now points to PDPDs which must be on the fist for 4 GB of memory and aligned on 32-bit multiples for addressing efficiency. This means that now CR3 has 27 significant bits instead of 22.5 for the 32 multiples to 27 to complete the 232 of the first 4 GB. Pay and PSE to 921. Designers decided to keep a 9 bit wide field to make it fit into a single page. This leaves 23 bits, leaving 2 for the PDPD to keep things uniform with the pay case without PSE leaves 21 for offset, meaning that pages are 2M wide instead of 4M. TLB The translation look ahead buffer TLB is a cache for paging addresses. Since it is a cache, it shares many of the design issues of the CPU cache, such as associativity level. This section shall describe a simplified fully associative TLB with for single address entries. Note that like other caches, real TLBs are not usually fully associative. Basic operation After a translation between linear and physical address happens, it is stored on the TLB. For example, a four-entry TLB starts in the following state. Valid Linear Physical The indicates the current entry to be replaced. And after a page linear address 00003 is translated to a physical address 00005, the TLB becomes And after a second translation of 00007 to 00009 it becomes Now if 00003 needs to be translated again, hardware first looks up the TLB and finds out its address with a single RAM access 00003-00005. Of course, 00000 is not on the TLB since no valid entry contains 00000 as a key. Replacement Policy When ELB is filled up, older addresses are overwritten. Just like CPU cache, the replacement policy is a potentially complex operation, but a simple and reasonable heuristic is to remove the least recently used entry LRU. With LRU, starting from state. Adding 0000D, 0000A would give Camp
using the TLB makes translation faster, because the initial translation takes one access per TLB level, which means two on a simple 32-bit scheme, but three or four on 64-bit architectures. The TLB is usually implemented as an expensive type of RAM called Content Addressable Memory CAM. CAM implements an associative map on hardware, that is, the structure that given a key linear address, retrieves a value. Mappings could also be implemented on RAM addresses, but CAM mappings may require much less entries than a RAM mapping. For example, a map in which both keys and values have 20 bits in the case of a simple paging schemes at most or values need to be stored at each time. could be stored in a TLB with four entries. However, to implement this with RAM, it would be necessary to have two 20 addresses, which would be even more expensive than using the TLB. Invalidating entries When CR3 changes, all TLB entries are invalidated, because a new page table for a new process is going to be used, so it is unlikely that any of the old entries have any meaning. The x86 also offers the NBLPG instruction which explicitly invalidates a single TLB entry. Other architectures offer even more instructions to invalidated TLB entries, such as invalidating all entries on a given range. Read only flag. Copy on write. HTTPS slash slash n dot wikipedia dot org web link. Besides a missing page, a very common source of page faults is copy on write. Page tables have extra flags that allow the OS to mark a page read-only. Those page faults only happen when a process tries to write to the page, and not read from it. When Linux forks a process instead of copying all the pages, which is unnecessarily costly, it makes the page tables of the two process point to the same physical address. It marks those linear addresses as read-only whenever one of the processes tries to write to a page. The makes a copy of the physical memory, and updates the pages of the two process to point to the two different physical addresses. Linux Kernel Usage The Linux kernel makes extensive usage of the paging features of x86 to allow fast process switches with small data fragmentation. Kernel versus Process Memory Layout The Linux kernel reserves two zones of virtual memory, one for kernel memory, one for programs. The exact split is configured by config dm split. By default, on 32-bit the bottom three-fourths is program space 0 to be FFFFFFFF. The top one-fourth is kernel memory C 0 to FFFFFFF. Like this. Kernel. process on 64 bit currently only 48 bits are actually used split into two equally sized disjoint spaces the Linux kernel just assigns the bottom part to processes 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 to 0 0 8 FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
kernel memory is also paged. In previous versions, the paging was continuous, but with high mem this changed. There is no clear physical memory split stack overflow.com web link. Process memory layout. For each process, the virtual address space looks like this. Top of process request space. Stack grows down. Unmeck. Maximum stack size. Unmeck. Impnap. Unmeck. BRK grows up. BSS. Data. Text. Bottom of process address space. The kernel maintains a list of pages that belong to each process, and synchronizes that with the paging. If the program accesses memory that does not belong to it, the kernel handles a page fault, and decides what to do if it is above the maximum stack size, allocate those pages to the process otherwise, send a sigcigd to the process, which usually kills it when an elf file is loaded by the kernel to start a program with the executive system call, the kernel automatically registers a text, data, BSS and stack for the program. The BRK and MMAP areas can be modified by request of the program through the BRK and MMAP system calls. But the kernel can also deny the program those areas if there is not enough memory. BRK and MMAP can be used to implement malloc, or the so-called heap. MMAP is also used to load dynamically loaded libraries into the program's memory so that it can access and run it. Stack allocation stack overflow.com web link calculating exact addresses things are complicated by address space layout randomization. The fact that environment variables, 151 arguments, and some elf heater data take up initial stack space unix dot stack exchange dot com web link number 239323 why the text does not start at zero stack overflow dot com web link. Source tree in v4. Look under arch slash x86 slash include slash asm slash pg dable include slash asm slash page millimeters slash pg dable millimeters slash page. There seems to be no structs defined to represent the pages. Only macros include slash asm slash page types. Dot h is especially interesting. Excerpt Number sign define page bit present zero slash is present slash number sign define page bit r w one slash writable slash number sign define page bit user to slash user space addressable slash number sign define page bit pwb three slash page write through slash Arch slash x86 slash include slash uapi slash asm slash processor flags dot h defines cr0, and in particular the pg bit position. Number sign defined x86 cr0 page bit 31 slash paging slash memory management unit. Paging is done by the memory management unit MMU part of the CPU. Like many others e.g. x87 coprocessor, APIC, this used to be by separate chip on early days. It was later integrated into the CPU, but the term MMU still used. Second level address translation. Two-level address translation to make OS simulation more efficient. 
other architectures. Peter Cordes mentions that some architectures like mix leave paging almost completely in the hands of software. The TLDNIS runs an OS supplied function to walk the page tables and insert the new mapping into the TLB. In such architectures, the OS can use whatever data structure it wants. ARM Some interesting features and characteristics of ARM V8 page tables. 9999 address split pages other than the last level 3 if you count from 0 can be leaps. When this happens, the page is larger than 4k since more bits are left for the offset. Bibliography Free Rutgers PXK 416 Chapter Memory Management Lecture Notes Good Historical Review of Memory Organization Techniques Used by Older OS Non-Free Both F05 Chapter Memory Addressing Reasonable Intro to X86 Memory Addressing Missing Some Good and Simple Examples Or what if we swap paging structures for each process, from start to end? For example one process would have paging structures built forward from the start of RAM, and the following process or data would have its paging structures built backward from the very end of free RAM.
but probably the best would be to build paging structures dynamically as there is a static number of memory pages while the machine is running, so we could just define them at the very start of free RAM, and leave things like per process paging structures defined later, but having a space that we would calculate somehow, to reserve the maximum possible amount of paging structures for page tables and page directories. After all, the equilibrium of having many processes and the actual RAM usage would allow us to manage well a contiguous memory area formatted for paging at runtime. Or put the formatted area at the very end of free RAM. great tutorial. Very good refresher. Just a minor comment there is a typo in translation table for process 2. Just point it out to add clarity. Thanks. Looks most translations for process 2 were completely wrong. Hopefully this fixes them HTTPS slash slash github dot com web link. Great paging tutorial. I'm debugging the paging checker for a new x86 processor. Found this while googling for PCID info. Thanks. I hope this helps. I know nothing about PCID. Post a link to the project homepage if you can. What is a paging checker? Something to see paging impact on performance. Paging on x86 is incredibly complicated, especially with BMX support. Paging checker attempts to detect errors in the paging implementation. www.centech.com Got it. Unit testing. Just learned that VIA is also an x86 manufacturer. I can imagine that implementing x86 is an insanely hard and cool job. Good luck.